Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. All right, tea sippers. So there has been an update. Um, as you guys know, earlier I spoke about Stunner Girl basically blasting Natalie Nunn and Lemon Pepper Step Up and letting everybody know that Natalie Nunn was cheating on her husband, Jacob Payne, with Curtis from the Bad Boys Club. So basically, Natalie Nunn has come out to state her side of the story. And she took to social media and she said the following. Curtis thought he was going to extort me for money and a watch. And when I told him to go ahead, go tell it, all he thinks this clout is going to do something for him, it's not. I'm not giving you no money, no watch, no nothing. You're still broke and I'm over here living a dream. Then she says, a break didn't mean you was going to be Jacob or take my man's spot. You clout chasing and the thing was Jacob knew about you the whole time and the world knew. You're mad this clout chasing is crazy. So that is what she said. And then she proceeded to go on like a seven minute rant about the whole situation, about how, you know, her and her husband were on a break um, and the husband knew and it's not a big deal. I didn't know married people took breaks. Like I know boyfriend and girlfriends, you know, they take breaks, they break up. But I thought marriage was for life. But anyhow, y'all go ahead and check out what Natalie Nunn had to say about the situation. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. For a little while, while I was on a break with my husband, while we were doing a great job co-parenting, an amazing job. And guess what? That was a long time ago. So you want to extort me, you want to go up to No Jumper, you want all these blogs to run a story about you. You're a bitch-ass nigga. Nobody in this industry is fucking with you. I can promise you that. They were about to pull your interview. Good luck today. Have a ball at your interview. I'm going to tell it all now. So it don't matter. Your interview, nobody cares. This is what clout chasing on 100 looks like. Nobody cares. Your rap game ain't going to do shit. You ain't shit. You don't got shit. The only thing you had was Natalie. And when I cut you the fuck off, now you want to give me money to buy me a Rolex, do this, this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Go run and tell whatever the fuck you want to tell. You ain't, you not extorting me, bitch. What kind of hoe ass nigga are you anyways? Talking to a female like, oh yeah, you need to buy me a Rolex and you need to, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. I ain't buying you shit. The fuck we talking about? Let's talk about it. You wanted to be, you're never going to be Jacob. And that's the thing. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. That's what the fuck you need to do. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. Let's talk about it. You want me to be a boss ass bitch? The real boss ass bitch that I am? I wasn't sending him the money because guess what? I wasn't getting him a watch because guess why? Because he a hoe ass nigga. You ain't getting shit. You got a bed. I sent you a bed. Would you like to see the receipts and the couch? Would you like to see what? Do y'all want to know? Y'all want that? You want to see? Let's talk about it. How you wake up every day and text Natalie Nunn that you're going to extort me by you sleeping on the bed that I got you, sitting on the couch, like, nigga, you're a joke. So, like, we're best friends. Jacob and I are best friends, keeping it a buck. I'm too much of a boss. That was 2022. That's when those videos that surfaced today, those little videos from 2020, so cute. I love those videos. Matter of fact, ugh, I wish his clout chasing ass nothing but the best. I really do. So, here's what I do want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Okay, it is a thing when you decide to let people into your world. It is a thing to realize that motherfuckers don't have your best interest. And motherfuckers are crazy, okay? So, let's fast forward to January this year, 2024. Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Okay. Um first of all, let's just all be bro. Everybody already knew <laughs> Curtis was around, hasn't been around for a while. Okay. 
hasn't been around. As a matter of fact, I really don't want to say too many bad things about Curtis because that's just not in my spirit. It's just not in my spirit. But what I will address and what I am going to talk about is the fact that you've been trying to extort me since January. Okay, you have been text mess. You have text messaged me to send you gifts. Your birthday just passed. You have been text messaging me to give you money. You have been telling me that I need to send you a Roly since Jacob posted his new Rolex watch that I bought him. And I don't fuck with you, nigga. You're not my man. We don't go together. We don't go together. We. You were a thing. Okay. A bitch cut you off. A matter of fact, the craziest thing is, is the only reason you got a bed that you're sleeping on right now is because of a bitch like me. How I make sure that you got a motherfucking bed to sleep on and a motherfucker want to extort you and expose. Expose. It's not. Uh, expose. Let's talk about it. Jacob's in the house. Let's talk about it. 22. Nigga, you're not my man. You pulled up to Miami during Batty's Caribbean auditions and I had to sun your ass because you just showed up to a fucking club unannounced trying to be all in my motherfucking face. The whole place was like everybody, all the baddies, everybody. Natalie, Curtis is over there. Curtis, like, what are you doing? Bro, I'm not fucking with you. I told you to take your ass back to Albany and stay to fucking Albany. You call, ask for groceries. Bitch, I send you some motherfucking money. You call and ask me for some shit. Your family got this going on. Your mama got this going on. I always made sure that you was cool. You was good. Like, nigga, I'm not fucking with you like that. You are playing a nasty game. So then let's check this out. I get a phone call yesterday, right? I get a phone call yesterday from motherfucking no jumper. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want to, y'all want some tea? Y'all want to lay it out? Let's lay it the fuck out. I'm shopping, having a ball, spent $30,000 in the Chanel store, nigga. Ain't worried about you, nigga. I'm up in the Chanel store. I get a phone call from No Jumper. Hey, yeah, um, we got this guy. He's trying to do an interview up here tomorrow. He's from Bad Boys. He's talking about he wants to, uh, he wants to expose you and his relationship. Like, nah, what, like, how, what you want? I was like, wait, what? You, I said, do the interview. Do the interview. Please do the interview. I don't give a fuck because guess what? Jacob and I already had this conversation. That's what you don't re- fail. That's what you fail to realize. The conversation was had. You're not doing anything. You were a thing for a little while while I was on a break. With my husband. While we were doing a great job (laughs) co-parenting. An amazing job. And guess what? That was a long time ago. So you want to extort me. You want to go up to No Jumper. You want all these blogs to run a story about you. You're a bitch ass nigga. Nobody in this industry is fucking with you. I can promise you that. They were about to pull your interview. Good luck today. Have a ball at your interview. I'm going to tell it all now. So it don't matter. Your interview. Nobody cares. This is what clout chasing on a hundred looks like. Nobody cares. Your rap game ain't gonna do shit. You ain't shit. You don't got shit. The only thing you had was Natalie. And when I cut you the fuck off, now you wanna give me money, buy me a Rolex, do this, this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Go run and tell whatever the fuck you wanna tell. You ain't, you not extorting me, bitch. What kind of a hoe ass nigga are you anyways? Talking to a female like, oh yeah, you need to buy me a Rolex and you need to, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. I ain't buying you shit. The fuck we talking about? Let's talk about it. You wanted to be Jacob. You're never going to be Jacob. And that's the thing. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. That's what the fuck you need to do. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. Let's talk about it. You want me to be a boss ass bitch? The real boss ass bitch that I am? I wasn't sending him the money because guess what? I wasn't getting him a watch because guess why? Because he a hoe ass nigga. You ain't getting shit. You got a bed. I sent you a bed. Would you like to see the receipts and the couch? Would you like to see what? Do y'all want to know? Y'all, y'all want that? You want to see? Let's talk about it. How you wake up every day and text Natalie Nunn that you're going to extort me by you sleeping on the bed that I got you, sitting on the couch, like, nigga, you're a joke. I helped you out. You and everybody around you. 
for you to be a hoe ass nigga and get on the internet and do all of this is insane. Sextortion and extra, it's all a real thing. And I, if you think that I'm not rich enough to lawyer the fuck up, you're delusional. And any little OnlyFans check you think you're going to take because you signed up for OnlyFans, any little check you think you're going to, nigga, I'm garnishing all your wages. Every last one of them. All these fucking tech, you threatening me if I don't do this and I don't give you that, you're going to extort. Nigga, go to, i tell it. I'm telling it. Would you like me to tell all of it? <laughs> Would you like me to tell all of it? Because I don't got a problem. I'll tell it all. At this point, bitch, when I'm on a whole break with my husband and we're doing an amazing job co-parenting and I just don't feel like it's uh, important enough for me to tell the whole world my business because we're on a break. We're back. We're about to be courtside tonight at the Kings game. Kings versus the Bulls. $10,000 seats. <laughs> Curtis, you were never going to be Jacob. You were never going to be Jacob talking about send me a Rolex because Jacob got a Jacob gets a new Rolex every other fucking month. It's Christmas every day for, for, for Jacob. None of you guys are going to be Jacob. None. Of, okay. It could be a break again tomorrow. I don't know. I just, I need a break. Um, I need a break. Give me my space for a minute. Give me a break. I took a break. It's okay. 13 years in marriage. I took a break. So I took a break. I don't know what I was in. Jeez, cause it's more it's it's more called convenient. It was a convenient situation, okay? And then <clears throat> convenience. Now you want some clout, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't that great, so don't even. I get it. It, it leave it alone, right? Or do you want to keep going? I cause we could keep going. All right, so you guys just heard what Natalie Nunn had to say. Now, what's interesting about that situation, she drugged the hell out of Curtis. She had, you know, so much to say about Curtis, but I noticed she didn't say anything about Lemon Pepper Stepper and him cussing her out and letting her know that he's the one who owns Zeus Network and the Baddies Show and things like that. So she made sure not to address that. Now, what's very interesting is she says she's back with her husband and, um, you know, her husband was well aware. This was in the past. This was over a year ago that the cheating took place, but Fabio Foreign. He came out on Math Hoffa not too long ago. This was just like maybe two weeks ago because this went viral on The Shade Room where he said that Natalie was cheating with his friend, um, Louis Peso. So I don't know what that's about, but this is what he had to say. Check this out. Louis Peso. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Peso. Shout out to Peso. That's, that's my man. He came around me. He used the Fabio card. He's fucking Natalie Nunn right now. <laughs> Knock her there like a clumsy nigga. She fop, she flying him all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Spending money going viral. Picking him up. Dubai. Boy, I don't even think you ever been in Dubai. That's my own all right, so you guys just saw what Fabio had to say. So, you know, again, I don't understand what marriage is in 2024. It seems like people have just changed the definition of it. You know, people are just married for either titles or for it to look good. But they're still out here living their best single life. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. People got whole boyfriends and girlfriends and side chicks. It's like, what is the point of being married if y'all are going to still act single? It just doesn't make sense. And I'm sure Jacob probably got him a little side boo. Some people are saying that he's bi and has a boyfriend. I don't know about all that. But I'm sure if he's allowing his wife to cheat and, you know, take a break from their marriage, I'm sure he's also doing stuff on the side as well. So if they like it, I love it, child. So anyways, in other news, if you guys do not know, right now Usher and Uncle Rush Card are... <laughs> They are trending all over Twitter, and I did not understand why, but it looks like uh, Usher went to go visit Uncle Rushcard in Bali. And we all know why Uncle Rushcard is in Bali. He's out there trying to dodge these rape allegations that have been haunting him since about 2018. Um, he sneaks in and out of America, you know, to see his daughters and things like that. But other than that, he's in Bali. And so he woke up today to let the world know that Usher was there. Usher's a pretty private person. I'm sure he didn't want the whole world to know this, but you know Russell Simmons has to do anything to keep attention away from these rape cases. So this is what he wrote. He says, when I was at my lowest point in my life, I woke up and this man, <laughs> I woke up and this man was sitting by my bed, dot, dot, dot. I had known Usher since he was a kid. 
but we really bonded because of our mutual love for self-discovery and our belief in yogic science as a direct route to realizing God's consciousness in ourselves. People remember to remember this, a friend walks in when others walk out. I will never forget the generosity of the spirit I witnessed in this man. God bless you, baby bro, at Usher, love you. Then he makes another post and he says this, morning flow with a bunch of really happy Bali friends. The generosity of spirit exudes, exuded by my friend at Usher was amazing. FYI, people were and always so happy to be in his presence. So when they practice with him, it is an honor and a privilege, but the presence and attention that he gives to each person is a gift. It's tough to be present with so many of us fans. Each one of us demanding your presence and focus it's rare that a person can give so much without it draining his energy. His quote when asked about energy, it's not me giving, it's God through me so it's easy. This is pure yoga. Now, if you guys watch my yoga deep dive, you already know I'm giving this whole situation with the yoga thing, the side eye, but that's a whole nother video. Um, you know, what's kind of disturbing about all this is one, not just the allegations against Russell Simmons and the fact that Usher is standing you know, next to his friend. Meanwhile, his other, you know, friend slash uncle, Papa P. Diddy, he's getting hit left and right with allegations. In a minute, we gonna see Diddy out there. Because he's like, y'all bitches ain't about to throw me in jail. I can see his ass flying out to Bali in a New York minute. But what's kind of disturbing is the song that he used um, with these clips. I can't play it, of course. Um, but the song that he used is Beyonce's Love on Top. To make everything stop. Of all the songs you could use for your boy Usher, Love on Top, I don't know. I just kind of took that as like, what are you trying to tell us, Russell? Okay? There's already all types of gay rumors floating around about Usher, especially with all the stuff that's going on with Diddy. And then you make this whole montage of Usher and use the song Love on Top as if that's your boyfriend. And we already know what, you know, Kamora Lee was saying not too long ago when she was blasting Russell. You know, so this whole situation is a mess. I don't think it's a good look for Usher. Right now, he's getting drug up and down Twitter. People are not here for this reunion. Um, people feel like Usher needs to stay the hell away from these people. But people also have to remember that Usher is like 40 now. He's not a 13-year-old boy. He's grown. So he knows what the industry is about. He knows how corrupt and disgusting these people are. And if, he's, and if he chooses to still associate with these people, that's on him. He's not being groomed at the age of 40. So at some point, he has to make a stance and say that these people are sick and I don't want a part of it. But, you know, maybe the friendship runs really deep. I don't know. So both these situations are nuts and I want to know y'all's thoughts. What do you guys think about Natalie coming out and having to admit that she was keeping with Curtis? Like I said, I mean, people have been talking about this over a year on social media, but Stunner Girl had the receipts, so she was forced to address it. Um, do you feel like Curtis is really extorting her or she's just trying to make excuses? And then how do you guys feel about Usher going to go visit Russell Simmons in Bali? I didn't see that on my bingo card in 2024, but hell, I also didn't see Diddy finally getting exposed, but I'm here for it either way. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like and feel free to share the video as well. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.